Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee. And as you can tell, some of these quadrants are a little bit better tended than others. Now, as I was thinking about how I wanted to further improve all of these pieces, like, it's not good if I just do the same thing in every quadrant. People would be like, why even, like, separate this into quadrants? Besides the fact that the original map by Tracy and Laura Hickman and the 1983 I-6 Ravenloft supplement for Dungeons & Dragons indicated that these should be separated into quadrants. Come on, Joe. Well, you know, here's the thing. I was thinking rose bushes would be a great addition to this. They're two blocks high. They're red. So that fits in with the blood theme of the vampire. It fits in with the garden theme we're using for our courtyards here. But you know what? Most importantly, it takes us on an adventure. You know, one thing I love about Hermitcraft is I get to come on here and see what my friends have built. You know, it's fun to fly around my bay and see what I build, but I really want to just set my sights on the center of the spawn area. And, or, well, I guess it's not really the spawn area, is it? It's like the shopping district, whatever we called. What's that middle of the server called? Leave notes in the comments about things that Joe should clearly already know. Um... But anyway, over here, past Tango's base, which, you know, looks a little bit more villainous than mine. I'm just gonna say, like, this this looks actually, I mean, my thing is supposed to be ominous, but his just is ominous. Like, this is remarkably good. Let's just take a minute to appreciate that, as we're, you know, sometimes when you're on your way to stop and smell the roses... You need to admire natural and unnatural and supernatural beauty. And I feel like this this little display here of tangos really has an otherworldly horror to it that is, is worth appreciating. But, you know, we can't dawdle too long because... What was it about roses? Oh yeah, you gotta get them right away. Where's my hot bar? I can't see anything. Anyway. So we're going to fly over Asuma's house, which was supposedly condemned like 87 episodes ago. Somebody's supposed to destroy this thing. Is it me? Okay. Well, one of the things that we learn on the Hermitcraft server about being good friends is that when your friend is asleep, you should not destroy his home. So uh, we're going to... We'll hold off for today. But Isuma's illegal house. This house was... Whoops. Oh, no. I always forget this hole is here. This house was illegally constructed in an area it was not zoned for. But anyway. Let's go over here and appreciate what Scar's been up to. Look at this. This is crazy good. And this is supposed to be like the ruins of an empire that was destroyed and forced all of us upside down. Is that what it's called? When you go into the nether? Yeah, if, yeah, we all, no, no, it forced us underground below the tree, or whatever. But Scar is always so busy working on this stuff. But we cannot stay to chat. We have better, how do you get into this thing? Go through this portal and find Stress Monster's base. Because I'm pretty sure she's got a flower garden island thing, where we can get all the roses we need. Time skip. Bloily! Look at this purple monster here. This must be Stress Monster's base. We'd best be on our way, on our expedition. Oh, hello, friends. I don't know if you realized it, but that was actually me all along. Anyway, we are going to follow this tunnel because... Oh, you know what? I bet those chests back there had... Um, what do you call those? Minecarts? Yeah, minecarts. Let's try this a different way. Minecart. Mine skip? No. None of these had mine carts anyway. Okay, we're walking. Time skip. This doesn't even go. Look at this. Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't take the mine cart now. I'd just be sitting at this intersection going, how am I going to get there? I guess I have to walk. I guess the worst case scenario in this scenario is literally what I'm doing now. This is truly the darkest mine line. Rail line? Uh, there's something there, guys. Leave better puns about the darkest timeline in the comments. We seem to be entering the domain of Stress Monster. You can tell by all the beautiful flowers and landscaping. Now, if I recall correctly, though, the flower garden was a separate portal from 
here. I think it might have been this one down this way. Now, I like this tunnel, too, because it has kind of a natural feel to it, you know? It feels connected to the plane of existence from which it originates, you know? It doesn't pretend to be something it's not. Anyway, here we are in Stress Monster's little flower garden cage. Now, there's supposed to be some trick where you stand on here and it bone meal generates a whole bunch of flowers. Which is neat, and I actually kind of do want to do that. Now, where do the flowers go? Now, it's generating a lot of poppies and some alliums, which is fun. I wonder... I guess I could replenish this with bone meal if I... But this probably won't generate the double hot rose bushes that we actually want to get with our shears here. So what we're going to do is we are going to do a little double jump. Then, like Icarus, we will fly directly toward the sun. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Bad idea. Wax and wings. That's right. Okay. So we're going to come back here. Whoa, that's really cool. Well, I see now where she made her map. It's just literally right here. Okay, where was I? Wax and wings, rose bushes. Yeah. Okay, so here are some rose bushes. What we are going to do is we are going to use these bone blocks to create bone meal. Then we will munch on the bone meal. Nom, 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 nom. And hopefully we'll get a bunch of red bushes. Wow, this is actually insanely effective. I th I had no idea that this... 27? Goodness gracious, alive. Is there a way that I could find one of these that's not literally next to a cliff, though? Just in terms of my own safety? Oh, wait, can I get more of those, too? <sighs> this changes everything. These are so, black like, pale, and they're perfect for, like, that sort of environment, um, too. So we're going to take a bunch of these. I clearly should have brought more bone meal. I regret now underestimating that. But the ones I bring back, I can just use um, with the bone meal there. So now that only seems to work with the double hat bushes, which is interesting. Let's go find one of these that's not actively, um, you know, next to a cliff, as I said. So much better. See, this feels safe, you know? Like I'm just hanging out with a bunch of thorns... And what are the odds that, like a spinning wheel, they will prick me and I will fall asleep forever? Anyway, I forget how that story actually ends, so let's just assume that Rumpelstiltskin hit me with an epinephrine shot or something. Whatever it was. Yay. How do you get back into this thing? Okay, so there's got to be a way to get up. Is my elytra gone? No. Dang it. Why didn't I bring enderpearls? I did bring enderpearls. Why didn't I tell myself that I'm better at planning than I ever think I am? Great. So we are just going to run this back and... I don't know, make plants. Yay! We have done two quadrants of courtyard landscaping. Now the third quadrant is quietly awaiting the blood red of rose bushes, pallor of lilacs, something that's scary mixed with some flower vocab. Okay, so let's go ahead and just run back down this rail line in in like massive quotation marks like i don't i don't know if i can make quotation marks large enough in minecraft around the word whale rail line because yeah that build limit it's just too low it's too low i haven't successfully traversed stress monsters rail line i've returned home to my tunnel to joe hills's red sky bay also games district NHO and ZF2, and what do you know, how do you do? I come around this corner, and my beautiful nether rack tunnel is gone. And, like, this tunnel used to look just like this, but now this tunnel looks like this. And it's got ice in it and fast jumping. And, whoa, somebody kind of tried to figure out what I was doing here, and they didn't get the math quite right. But that's amusing that, that they tried. 
Also, nobody, literally, literally nobody has actually sorted out what this is yet. I'm just saying. Um, but, anyway, where was I? Um, apparently this tunnel here is, is like a thing. So, that's cool, having like a real tunnel that leads to my base now. Besides the, uh, general nether hub thing that I built. But, yeah, super cool. But, I'm excited about that. I think False probably did that based on how everything looks. But let's go ahead and run back through and get started on planting that other quadrant. Time skip. The first thing I did upon my return was to come through here and just re, uh, I don't know, carpet over all the lights. Get rid of the grid, kind of get this quadrant looking ship shape again. But then, you know, the next thing that we want to do is we really want to come in and we want to get some of these bushes going. And I was trying to figure out, like, where those should be. Should those be, like, along the back wall here? Kind of thing? You know, further out? Like, they're... I think, I think that further out makes sense because that's where... Or, like, against walls, you know. That's where, that's where things are, like, less likely to be trampled or eaten by animals or horses. Now, I don't want these to be spaced regularly, though. Or... Oh, in front of this window in some ways is interesting. But I don't think there's actually... Whoa. Did I break that in a bad way? I don't know. Okay. So anyway, we can just kind of put some of these kind of scattered around the outside walls here. And the fact that these weren't in the first area is going to make this seem a little... Now, having those two right there, actually, I do like. Yeah, it's too symmetrical. No. They're gone. Well, yeah. But kind of having a few of these sickly, pallid lilacs as well will kind of give this more pop, a little zest, a little zing, a little zazz, just to kind of jazz the whole thing up a bit. And so, like, kind of having one there, having one maybe somewhere along, like, here, or out a bit more like this. I don't want to go, like, just, like, Red, pink, red, pink. Red, purple, red, purple. I want to vary it. I'm just kind of playing with it at this point. Because, like, to a certain degree, like, maybe it's just better to have, like, a whole bunch of these everywhere. And make it feel more chaotic than if we... If we obsess about it, it's gonna be wrong. So, like, let's just let's just play with it and see what works, you know? Um, this is, this is part of design, is sometimes you throw the spaghetti against the wall to see if it's cooked, and I'm not sure if it's supposed to stick, or if it's supposed to fall down, but I do know that you're supposed to throw it, and have I been throwing it? No, not really. I have been, I've been placing things instead of just experimenting and experiencing them in a, a pure and creationatory way. So, here we go. Just, just throwing plants down. Enjoy the ground, plant. That's, it's your time to shine. Or dine on the mulch from the ground. I don't know. Having these in small clusters, though, does just feel more natural. So, yeah. You know, I'm not sure exactly how I feel about this. Part of me says... I should just keep throwing more down until, like, because right now, I keep asking myself, is this good enough? What more could I do? And the answer is, like, I don't know, put more in. So I should just keep doing this until the answer to what more could I do is literally nothing, you're done. Um, also, I'm realizing this door probably does need, like, a, a walkway kind of leading toward the stables area here. Or, like, toward the path. Like, there should be, like, a clear kind of kind of thing. Yeah. Okay, I think that that's, that's a little better. Dang it. I don't want those to be aligned. This is Dungeons & Dragons. There's no alignment. Or there is, but only for story purposes. Use it to make your character better. Not to um, box yourself in. Okay, so... We come through here, and it's been 
pretty plain. But the fact that there's no flowers out here, when you start seeing them through there, makes you think, okay, there might be something more visually interesting over here. Oh, okay, this is different. What's going on? We've got this outbuild, or we got this building jutting out here, which is still part of the castle, but it's jutting out. We got the uh, chapel here. We got the stables here. Yeah, this is... This is feeling just better in ways I'm not entirely sure of. I feel like it's gonna come together, or it has come together, but that I'm possibly unable to appreciate which of the two it is. So, we're just gonna, I don't know, keep throwing plants on the ground. That's where they go. Like, it's like, where do your toys go? In the toy chest. Where do your plants go? In the ground? Yeah, that's exactly it. So we got like a few small lines kind of set up there. I almost want to add some small terracing to this, but it's really not intended to be terraced. This is not a terraced act. No, it's not an act, it's a courtyard. Dang it. That was almost a pun, guys. Almost. But you know what? I think that we are going to wind this down. Well, what rhymes with lilac? Buy back. That's not a good, that's not a good rhyme. Okay. I mean, it's not a, it's not funny. Okay, so, yeah, I think I'm getting a little tired. We're gonna, we're gonna end this episode here before we workshop ourselves to death on things that rhyme with names of flowers. Okay, you might think I'm crazy to give up on rhyming things with daisies, but I don't want to be a didact about all these lilacs. So, here we go. Let's just look around at this. This was a good episode. We got to visit some of our friends. We got to see what they were working on. We didn't demolish our friend's house while he was sleeping because of friendship? Yeah, let's say friendship. There's a little bit of a gap here that we're going to deal with. We're going to... I don't want these directly adjacent. But, yeah. Core concept. This is a good use of space. And we're doing it. We did a thing that is working well here. So, great. Until next time, y'all. This is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.